next uh, 10, 20 years. But there might be an imbalance in growth between develop, developed economies and emerging economies. Developed economies may grow at a rate of 2% a year, while emerging economies, they may grow 7%, roughly around 7% a year. Now, this global uh, imbalance uh, may widen along the course of the uh, 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 development of the world economies, then, uh, then if this imbalance is not maintained, then, uh, then the world economy may be uh, faced in destabilization for the future. That's, uh, that's what the IMF and the World Bank pointed out. So I, I'm just going to uh, uh, simplify what is this uh, global imbalance is, uh, is all about. Now, um, it's simply a matter of uh, capital flow. Capital flow me uh, meaning it's just a, a flow of money. And, uh, and this flow of money is going to be imbalanced. That's what uh, it's, all, uh, it's all pointing out by the uh, uh, IMF report. And uh, if de developed economies, um, including uh, current developed economies, they do have a, a current external account deficit and also uh, budget deficits, that is a balance of payment and also uh, 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 current uh, external accounts. The, if they have deficit and also if the budget, budget deficit uh, widens, then, uh, then the emerging economies, they do, uh, they do uh, have, uh, because they, they do grow uh, so much than compared to the developed economies, they may have surplus funds. And these surplus funds generated by the um, emerging economies, they may have to lend it out to the uh, uh, developed economies because they are in budget deficit all the time. Um, and uh, this, is, uh, this is what is called a global imbalance. And uh, at the moment, uh, in the world economy, still United States occupies 23% of the world uh, GDP, uh, so still a number one champion. And uh, BRICS, uh, China occupies 9% of the uh, uh, world GDP, and India occupies 2.5% of the world GDP. So uh, how this, uh, uh, and also naturally, the key currency is uh, US dollars at the moment. Now. Uh, if I just simplify this uh, story, uh, put it a Chinese guy and uh, American guy, and the American guy is uh, spending so much uh, more than uh, more than their income, so that uh, uh, they do have a deficit, and Chinese guy is exporting them, uh, exporting to the American guy to buy whatever things uh, they want to buy, so that the China China uh, accumulates so much uh, dollars. Uh, from the American guys, and the American guy has to uh, borrow money from uh, Chinese, and they have to they have to make a profit to uh, give it back to uh, Chinese because they borrow the money, so they have to return it. So they have to make money by making profits. Uh, so that is this is more like a simplified world, and. Um, <coughs> And of course, Americans want to make money, so they, they will uh, invest in Japanese and uh, maybe uh, Europeans and uh, uh, Latin Americans and uh, you know, agents, uh, of course, in uh, India too. So they want to uh, make money investing in those places and uh, make profits, and, uh, and uh, they want to return it to the Chinese. So that, this is uh, called the uh, uh, global imbalance. Uh, Americans spending more than their income, and the Chinese uh, giving them all the products, and they they get money. <laughs> so this is the world at the moment, and this imbalance, uh, if this is maintained, uh, that'll be okay. But if uh, 
If it's not maintained, then the world economy would be in endangered. That's what the uh, IMF report is pointing out. So how it's going to be, how it's, uh, how this world economy is going to be endangered. Now, <clears throat> if the U.S. dollar is a uh, key currency at the moment, so if the Chinese always give the, give the Americans U.S. dollars, they lend money to the Americans in U.S. dollars, that's fine. Uh, this process may grow. As long as uh, China grow and uh, Americans grow, uh, this process can be maintained. But one time when the things uh, get wrong and the Chinese guy wanted to save money in, say, Japanese yen or euro, then uh, they cannot save money for the American dollars anymore. So that's the time when the when the things uh, get something different because they don't have that uh, American money, American U.S. dollar money to lend it to America.